Yeah. Like right now? Yeah. Oh, right now. Man. That's cool. Is that a blood python? Yeah. Yeah. It's my girl Ariel. That's amazing. Oh yeah. She's looking really cool over there, I'd say. Yeah, that's my little baby girl. Yeah. Then her little Those boyfriend. Those things get massive too, don't they? Yeah. My the the boy I have, her boyfriend is uh Jafar. He's a mean, yeah. but uh yeah, he's big. <laughs> What is going on, everyone? Thank you for joining tonight. So, Sunday nights, we decided that we're going to do uh, Sunday nights with Peely's Clutch. Turns into community time, hanging out. We got Ed with TGH, and we have Greg with G Rated Reptiles, the man himself. All right. So, and he's holding a pretty amazing snake. I'm not going to lie, I've been trying to find one of those that I'm into, but I just the haven't ivories. been able to touch it myself yet. Like, I haven't found the right color combination on a blood for me yet. My favorite is the ivory, man, the Super Matrix. Mm-hmm. That is uh, that is my, my favorite. Oh, snaps. It's like pretty much white, and then it has the dorsal stripe. That's what's up. I like that. So, guys, um, we came, we kind of come together a lot, but I don't think we've ever really done it. In, well, you guys have done it in front of everybody a little bit, but I think it's, I think it's kind of funny how we all, we all continue to build each other up without really pushing each other yet you know what i mean like we we haven't we haven't been like ed make sure you do this you need to do this or we haven't pushed greg to do his own thing and we were talking earlier and are you ready to announce greg sure can i think you're ready then i think he's ready to announce too we'll do so guys this is a special coming straight Uh from here Breaking news! It's breaking news, guys! This is breaking news. And we're well, going to send it over to Greg. <laughs> well, there you go. So, uh, breaking news. TGH breaking news. All right. So, every Sunday, um, give me give me 30 days. And every Sunday, I will be putting out um, a breaking news show for TGH. And it will be for everybody. Everything in the community leading up in that week. And then uh, starting off the new week. So wow! So, be... so we're, are we getting an actual weekly update from G Rated? Yep, weekly updates. Weekly. Every I Sunday. love it. So, what all is going to consist of these updates? Is it just hey, this is what's happening as far as TGH, or what? What yep. can we expect with these updates? So it's going to be that. It will be just regular little things, but it'll also, if uh, if you might have a highlight or something that you would like to be uh, put in the in the news broadcast, you can go ahead and email me something that you might want me to talk about, or if you have a video clip or anything like that, you go ahead and send it to me, and you can get featured in the show as well. Um, and then basically. Basically, that's what, what it's going to be about. It's going to be just updating the community on the community. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we're going to get a one-stop shop, an update, yeah. a summary of our week, hanging out with G-Rated every Sunday, coming to you in 30 days. That's what it sounds like to me. That is Absolutely. exactly what it is. That's exciting, man. I'm, I'm glad to see you finally stepping into the game. Yeah, I'm excited Jumping too. in the <laughs> ring with I, the Incas. You think you can watch? to do something. Uh, wow. I just, I'm trying to memorize, memorize by that snake. I know she's like Dude, being weird right like now. Normally, normally I mean, she just sits with me and chills, but for some reason right now, she wants to be all over. She me. knows she's on camera. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. All right. Sergio, what's up? Jared, Gay, Redstrom. Uh, who else? Jay's balls. Scotty. Scotty's always in here. Give Scotty some love, guys. 
Got to give him some love. ZTK. Flash Dragons. Let's see. KY Constrictors and Exotics. Crystal. I think I caught everyone so far. If I didn't get a hold of you, just throw up a hi. We'll get to you. Definitely. What's up, Drunk Monkey? Hey, I haven't seen Drunk Monkey in a while. Have you guys? You won't leave it on. One's unhappy with a full belly. Uh, I'm getting, I'm having some issues with my computer for some reason. It keeps. We're lagging. getting a slight we're little getting, lag stuff. So. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of lag, but it's good. Sorry, guys. Hold on to it, deal. I hope you can deal with it. Uh, so, Ed. Yeah. You had, you just got done with your live. You were talking about drinking the water. Yeah, and just letting, letting not just the positivity movement, but just what we are as a community in general, kind of consume you, or I don't know if consume is the right word, but like let that overtake you and let it empower you to keep pressing forward. How, how would you, how would you describe with yourself? Like, how do you let that take hold of you? Like, how do you drink the water in your own eyes? Okay, I would give it to you this way. Um, I realized that there was this space that we all hang out at, this all, that we all just, we vibed, right? We were all communally conversating and hanging out around the same places. And I seen that there was value coming from that, from the community aspect of hanging out with others. I consider that the water, the nourishment that you get from water. I consider the good vibes that you get from being and hanging out with those people that make you feel that way, guys. Um, Mr. Feely, you do that for me as well. We have a lot of conversations, as we say a lot and frequently on our programming, um, as well as G rated. He's a good friend of mine. After we've met and hung out, we were able to vibe together. The man has been in my home. We have had conversations. He was in my bedroom, but hey. guys, <laughs> the reality is this, that water, that well, that well that we are building, it's more so about the work that we put into getting that water because we can go anywhere to find groundwater guys. You can go to any channel. You can go to any one person and subscribe to whatever it is that their message is. And most times it's a one person thing or a one group thing for this. It's not even a small group that we're building. There's a small group of people that are working hard for uh, the movement for one another for ourselves and ourselves as us as a community that well that well that we built, it took us digging that dirt, putting in that work, laying each stone. And I hope everyone understands that metaphor and how we, what we mean by that, because Mr. Feely put a lot of those stones down for there for you guys, you know, G rated put a lot of those stones there for you guys. There's a lot of other members. And yes, I will give credit to all of these amazing people of TGH because they came together with their own thing that they were doing on their own and said, I will contribute to this thing. That is a movement within our community. Thank you for you guys, all of you, everyone here right now. It looks like we have over 20 people, 20 plus people hanging out right now, vibing with one another. That's love guys. That's those stones. We've built that. Well, Mr. Feely, we work hard to build that well. That well takes care of our community, right? It's, uh... Why do why would we not do everything in our power to make sure that we all have that benefit of that well? I think that's the main thing about it. I use that well. I drink from that well. I drink that water. Ain't no Kool-Aid involved in that scenario. I drink that water. Don't hate that water. Kool-Aid. I love the Kool-Aid. Hey, I like Kool Aid too. I like the purple Kool Aid. I like the red Kool Aid. Uh, there's that. Um, come on, man. That lime Kool Aid is amazing. But all be all silliness aside. Yeah, I mean, we went ahead and we did something. We put in the work. We made that well. That well is there for us. We're all vibing. We're all doing what we need to get that water, that nourishment, which is those good vibes. That's what I get out of it. That's why I go for the water. I hope that answers your question, Mr. Feely. 
Oh, absolutely. Um, I just want to take a moment. Uh, love Pig asked how the rats are. They're all doing good. It actually looks like I might get my second um, ASF. Um, oh, Lord. My mind went blank. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Fancies? No. My second... Um, litter? Litter. Pop? Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I hope I was right when I went completely blank, man. I almost said clutch. (laughs) But I'm I'm expecting my second litter from them. Uh, The mice and regular rats, for some reason, don't want to have babies. But we're figuring it out. It'll be all good. Um, So what we're going to do right now, guys, is I got... Greg, who hasn't, he's been in the community for a while. He's been like a silent, not a silent observer, but just an observer. We're finally bringing him out. He's becoming one with the public. He's definitely a strong supporter of the movement. And what I want right now is is how many questions you guys would like Greg to answer. What's up, sister? So three questions really quick for Greg to answer. Let's get first and here, guys. send them now. Yeah. What is G rated? What is G rated? Um, it's actually pretty good. Like, what does it stand for? Or. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the question. I, I put in a question. That was the question. What does G-rated stand for? <laughs> so G-rated is, of course, my name, Greg. But uh, it is since I have wanted to be a part of education and stuff with animals, and especially in the animal science area, um, I just wanted to be a, a family-friendly type thing, a young minds-friendly uh, type of if I breed or whatever and whatnot, but uh, I needed a name. So if I want to do educational shows or anything in the Dude, future, awesome. I have I have something, and uh, that was something that I picked, and it it rolled it rolled right off my tongue one night, and all my snakes names go off of kids cartoons and things like that, so it all stays. It all was legit. Ball and Chain said, can I get your number? Yeah, you can. I'll DM it to you. <laughs> Unless if you want me to say it over over the live stream. No, <laughs> um, no we're not doing that. that. Especially not on mine. You want to do that scared. on your own? That's I'm on not you. Scared. <laughs> but um, Caitlin asks, what's your favorite snake? In my collection, this girl. This was my first snake ever. And you went with I, a blood python for your first Oh, yeah. Snake. Uh, it's go, Dude, well, you went big. I, I can't say go big or go home because I didn't get a retake or something like that. But well, no. Like, I went, the attitude of a blood python can be so wishy-washy until you learn to read them. Like, you, you could definitely say I went big. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I... I got to uh, do a lot of research for about, I mean, I always was into reptiles, but I literally researched all types of different reptiles and stuff for about like six years before I was even able to get anything. And uh, I was 33 and I was like, you know what? Well, 32 technically. And I was like, you know what? I want a snake and bloods just looked like the coolest ones to me. So I researched everything about them and I, I went for it, and I'm not disappointed. I really, I really dig blood pythons. They're one of my favorites. So Heather wow. just got her first bite tonight. Unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry, wow! Heather, how bad was life. it? Yeah. Um, my sister Brittany asked how long each of us have been doing this. I don't know if she means YouTube or if she means uh, reptile keeping, but. Brittany, you're going to have to 
clarify if you're just asking reptile keeping or if you mean YouTube or what you mean in yeah. Brittany's on here. And Scouty says she loves you. So how long have we been reptile keeping? Do you want to start, Greg? Yeah, I can. Uh, a year. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first one, and yeah, so for a year. Okay. Personally, I've been keeping for roughly around six months, but uh, I did have a ball python in the house that I didn't care for for over a year. Okay. So what are we in, September? Nine months. So I've been keeping again for nine months. Uh, I started keeping when I was 14 and I stopped at 16 when I lost one of my snakes. I just, I gave the rest of my collection away and I was like, I can't do it. I don't want to lose anymore. But like I've said multiple times, uh, I obviously kept reptiles around me and worked with them. I just, I couldn't personally keep them. Right. So. That was a good question. Yeah. It was a curveball question. <laughs> <laughs> so she said, so you're all fairly newish. How do you like it so far? It's tons of fun. Yeah. It's more, it's uh, more exciting than uh, just being a dog owner. Hey, that's true, right? That's messed up because she has a dog. She's got a big old pit. Oh, I got that's... three dogs. I got three dogs. But it's a lot cool, you know, doing that, you know. Yeah, I mean, I love them. I love all animals, so it. Yeah. I don't know, like it. Every animal presents its own unique uh, characteristics and like its own challenges that you gotta work through you can't use that language on my videos please thank you uh, <laughs> hey, what are you doing but it's just i don't know it's it's a very fun hobby and unfortunately a lot of people look down on it and they shouldn't because one of the reasons i love it is I have really bad allergies to anything that has any sort of dander at all. So the fact that I'm able to like spend hours upon hours upon hours with animals that don't make my allergies act up makes me really happy. <laughs> okay. But, that makes a lot of sense. So I think, I think it's, it's kind of the perfect animal. Like it's easy to take care of it's well it's somewhat easy to take care of once you learn them um you don't have to deal with a lot of allergy issues if you take off for a day or two and you just have someone to change water that's all you have to really worry about so it's nice so, is it everything you expected it to be and more yep I, yes i, I agree I get a kick out of watching each one of their personalities. And with 30 snakes in my collection right now, and each of them having like kind of a unique personality or unique way of how they do everything, it's it's a unique experience every single day, I guess. Like you're never gonna have the same day twice. I like it. And the best part about it is, is that I actually get to, I mean, I, like I said, I read up a lot, but it just learning from them every day is, is what I like. Cause again, I like learning and education. So, nice. and so I'm going back to school. Um, you right should tell everybody what you're going to school for. I, I'm actually going to go to school for, um, uh, associates in science, but, uh, for vet tech. So nice. I want to go on the medical side of the animals. So maybe I can get a little bit of education on that and help them. Right, right. It's, 
So Crystal asked, what's your favorite morph? Of... I guess a ball python, since that's predominantly what we do here. But oh, okay, ball pythons. Oh man, that's hard. Um, I honestly, and it's gonna sound a little like boring, but uh, the pen stripe is actually my favorite. Uh, my favorite. Really? Yep, What's boring regular... about that? Well, it, because... I mean, it's not boring. It, no. it definitely does some weird stuff to the. Yeah, but. My friend, he, he asked me before, too, because I got him into breeding and doing uh, reptiles and stuff. And uh, he asked me, he goes, what's your favorite morph? Like a pinstripe. I don't know why, because I know I knew about them when I was younger and I always wanted one. And it just stuck with me. And now seeing all the cooler things that it can't do is, is, is awesome. But yeah, absolutely. just the standard, the standard pinstripe. Um, so next question. Oh, we'll keep going. We know Ed's. Ed's is a fire. <laughs> super fire. He can't wait for that super fire. <laughs> Everyone knows mine if they've seen my logo. It's a GHI. I love what it does to patterns. Um, there's just so many changes. Uh, she said, kind of personal question. Is it expensive? It can be expensive. It can be very expensive if you let it. Um, it all depends on how many you want, how you decide to care for them, what type of morph you want. Everything plays a factor in it. So, yep, I agree. Reagan said a breeder she knows is breeding pastel to pastel. What do you think about it? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like that person's breeding what they're happy with and what they have. So if they're just looking to get pastels or possibly create super pastels, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's awesome. Nope. I think pastels, one of the defining, well, if you really want to think about it in the ball Python trade, the pastel was the defining morph that really kicked off um, ball Python breeding for morphs, like for specific genetics. It's true. So, So the hunt for saying, congratulations pack. for going to school, Greg. Uh -huh, thank you. I really need to learn how to get these Anything comments tied. up. Let me see. Jay, are you saying your favorite morph is anything pied? Yeah, my comments pop in and then they pop out, so I haven't been able to really see what's going on. I'm trying to get through this. Gay says she loves Mojave's. I I have a lot of Mojave stuff. I I think it's really cool what it does to dark morphs. Oh like, yeah. Yeah, Josh. Oh, yeah. That's very true. Sergio said same here, super fire. He has too many favorite combos though. <laughs> Sergio is on fire, man. He is kicking butt. Oh yeah, I can't. I'm waiting to see what I'm waiting to see what's clutch, in those man. eggs. I can't wait to see that clutch. What are you doing? Uh, are you ready to show everybody what you showed me, Greg? Oh, I wasn't gonna, you know, really bust no, it out, but uh, do it. Let's see if I can get it with with her in my lap. Uh, all right, little girl. Oh, Reagan said she meant champagne to champagne. Uh, so that's been shown to be a uh, fatal pairing. So I would advise people that want to do that to not do it, but I'm not that person. Uh, if they want to deal with a bunch of babies that just are going to have issues and aren't going to make it that them, unfortunately, but uh, it is a lethal combo. So I'd advise them not to do it. Okay. Advice um, from Feely's clutch. Exactly. Advice. I can't tell people what to do, but I can advise all day. That's right. What it's about. Uh, 
I don't know, Chucky. Sergio can't wait till they can. pip. Um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Would you ever get into Phantoms? They're a Lelic with Mojave's. Uh, I have seen the Phantom gene. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I have a lot of allelic genes, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I say unfortunately. Like, I, I don't want to just produce white snakes. As awesome as they are, I don't want to just produce white snakes. Um, but I don't know. Phantom, I've seen Phantom do some really cool stuff. So it might be something I play with down the road. Not right now, though. Very cool. Um, let me see here. This will be the old spider to spiders. What is this program you guys are using? Javier, this is called Google Hangouts. And if you send me your email, you can be a part of this next Sunday. You have my email and my you have a lot of ways to contact me. Everyone has a lot of ways to contact me. If you don't know how to contact me, look down in the description. Every way to contact me is right there. So it's really easy to find then. Yes, it's very easy to find. And it's got to go to the, the description. Mm-hmm. It's Just below. Go to the description. The description below this video. <laughs> no. The description no? below your video. Oh, wait. I guess you could go there too. Yeah, yeah, you could go there too. You could definitely find them there too. Yeah, that's right. No, but the description of this video has your email, right? It has one of my emails, I think. It has all of my social media, everything. Nice. Everything. So then it's easy. Yes. There we go. It doesn't have my social security number. I don't think I'll put that out for everyone. I kind of like my credit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's keep that in line there. So what I've been looking at with this Google Hangouts is actually doing this. And like I said, uh, I think I don't remember if I said it on yours. I think I said it on yours the other day. I don't think it was on mine. I want to do a rotation with this, basically. So I'll have, I'll have a couple of people that are a regular. And then I'll have people that I rotate out constantly so that you all can meet each other, like, Kind of face to face, not exactly face to face, but kind of face to face. Well, you, you can see our faces. Other. Yeah, you can see each other's faces. You can kind of sense what their personality is like. So if you've been kind of hesitant to go jump on their channel, go subscribe to them, you get an opportunity to see what they're like in person, live. No editing, no nothing. You're going to see the true form of them. And then, hey, Go check out their channel. I didn't think about that. Um, I got to I gotta go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's about, though. Um, Sergio, that's a blood python. I don't know if Greg can see these. So I'm yeah, it's, a, it's a blood python. Yeah, so yes, if it was a blood or a Sumatran. Yeah, I can see them now. I just, uh, um, I just didn't want to. What do you think about gravel? I think I think the yellow or it's not even really a yellow belly complex it's a it's a highway complex I guess um like the asphalt the gravel um I know there's some more the orange belly well, no, that's yeah, a yellow but, belly, right? That's the yeah, yellow belly that's, complex. That's another though. complex within the yellow belly. Yeah. Um, it's, I think it's cool genes. I like what it can do. Um, I don't know if I'd ever jump into it just because I'm going for uh, more pattern mutations myself than a bunch of, well, there's going to be some crazy colors, but I'm, I'm more of a pattern guy. So... I think I think if when you add them together, it kind of pulls away from the pattern a little bit because the sides fade out. So I think the backstriping is really cool, but 
I I like the pattern on the sides. So, and Austin said, "Greg, you need to speak more." I love. Yeah, you. I know. I saw it. I love you too, Austin. Austin, my wife has a question: Is your brother a twin, or is he older or younger than you? <laughs> Because she swears you guys are twins. Yeah, y'all do look alike. Uh, like, a lot alike. <laughs> they look a lot alike, but I'm saying... I said, before he answers this, I'm going to put this out there. I'm going to say um, that Austin's probably, like, two years older. Ooh, four that, years. That's maybe. what I think. Four years. Ah! Right. You're, He's four you're years. halfway there. Austin's four years older. Uh, I was uh, I was off. I was off. It's a good try. I called it though. I called it. Highway is your gene if you want pattern. Okay, I'll have to check that out. I mean, I I know uh, what's his name? It's Billy, right? At Mutation Creation, he does a yeah. lot of. He does a lot of the uh, highway and freeway combinations. So after after I saw the gridlock, though, after I seen that, I can't remember who it is that did it. But when they used the orange belly with hold on, I gotta let the pups in. The orange belly with whatever it was and made the gridlock. Uh -huh. I'm sold on that. Y'all can you can have the highways and all that, dude. I love uh -huh. the way that that snake looks. Uh -huh. Oh man. So what's your next snake, G-rated? Oh man, I am probably gonna go into the carpets. I really want to. Uh, I really. Ooh. I think they're. Uh, are they Centralian carpet pythons? The rusty, rusty oh. color ones. I really dig those. Like that's nice. Have you talked to uh, Riley's Reptiles? Oh, I talked to him at the show, so I'll be, okay. uh, I'll definitely be hitting him up for. I was talking to him today uh, about stuff like that. Roma. All right, Javier. Uh, have a good night, Slash Master. Okay, so it was Sam what? from. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Sergio. I knew I couldn't remember who it was. Oh my lord! What are you doing there? Come here. Now that's a cute little doggy. He's a fat wiener. Look at that. Look at that belly. Yeah. This little thing will not stop chowing Grubbing down. Grubbing over there. Food and water. <laughs> you guys, do me a favor. We got 19 people in here right now. Go down in the comments. Let me know what your guys' favorite morph is. Because we've been talking about different morphs for a majority of this live, actually. So go down let me know what your favorite morph is and why. Oh, yeah. And while y'all list your favorite morphs, um, who, who's down? Who's down with the, uh, <laughs> with the hashtag elf army? That's, That's sick, sick dude. Thing, dude. I love I that. dig it. I'm going to need you to send me one of those so I can put it on my incubator. I definitely, I definitely will, man. I, I need to – I was going to blow them up a little bit more so they're a little bit bigger because they're kind of small. Uh -huh. but, uh, but, yeah, I'll send them out. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to send me one too, okay? Oh, I got y'all. <laughs> All right. We got the morphs flying in. Oh, of course, Ed's the first one. Fire. <laughs> I dig the Batmans too. Uh, banana, the Batmans. Batman. Oh are yeah, insane. Uh, Super Phantom. I think, yeah, Love Pig's the one that brought up the Phantoms earlier, if I remember right. Um, VPI Xanthic from Austin. Javier said the Red Jean. Red Jean's. Red Jean's underrated, I think. Red Jean can do a lot if you mix it right. Chucky said paint. I want to know what he's doing with that paint. <laughs> you know what I really like, actually? Like, GHI is my favorite, but I was looking through, and 
the uh, rainbows. Yeah. The mixture of, I think we were talking about this, Greg. It's like four, four different genes, but when you hit those four genes, those things are freaking beautiful. Yeah. And uh, I think Pied's like a close second for me as far as favorites. Like across across all snakes, I love Pied's. Like I love the Pied Boa. I love Pied Retix. Pied Ball Pythons. There, there's just something about how different every pattern is. Like I said, I'm a pattern guy though, so it's I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Javier, I have two that I might breed one day. So if I ever do, I'll let you know. <laughs> um cow retics are awesome, Iron Dog. Uh they're like the most gentle giants you'll ever meet too. I I don't think I've ever heard of a cow retic with a bad attitude. Oh, pied worms. Right. I, everyone's getting upset because I said <laughs> one morph. Like, how do you pick just one? I love it. I love it. Uh, pied Brazilian rainbow boa. Hmm. I haven't heard of that. I'm going to have to look for that, Chuck. I really haven't heard of that. Oh, my bad, little girl. <laughs> I feel bad now. I don't even know how long it's been since I've had a reptile in my own videos. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I think the last know. time was what when I had the beardy hanging out. Yeah, that's what that's what made me because I, I was like I was like nobody's seen her, so I figured she could get some fun time. I have to chill with her anyway because. Once she gets to her adult size, I don't want a really mean one. <laughs> oh, yeah. So if she's going to be get, she can be mean get now. super heavy, too. Like, that's yeah. a big bodied snake. Yeah. So that's awesome that that was your first snake, man. Like, that's, that's just killer. Oh, yeah. He went all in on that one. Yeah. All right. Crystal. Crystal asked the hard question. I love that, actually. She's, she's asking the hard question. Uh, How do you feel about hybrids? I dig they're them. cool. I dig them as long as as long as it is done right and they are sold the right way. I have no issues with any of that because the way I look at it is we're we're taking these snakes and we're breeding them and line breeding them and crossing them to mommies and daddies and all this stuff. If you want to take a species and mix it with another species and make a cool looking snake. As long as you sell it that way and don't like, you know, muddy the purity of everything, then I don't, I don't see any problems with any of that. And with that, I concur. See, I, I like the idea of it. I'll say that. I like the idea of hybrids. I like some of the hybrids that I've seen, but from past experience, like past history and this industry, I think sometimes that's not what you're going to get. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you were saying you got to, you got to keep it pure. You got to sell it with or as what it is. And uh, what was it? Probably like four years ago. It just, it wasn't happening. And that's, that's what really killed the hybrid market back then because the morphs were kind of becoming, I wouldn't say stagnant, but people were just breeding the same stuff over and over again. They weren't expanding like we are now at this point. And the hybrid market was really starting to flourish. And it, I don't know if it was just a fad. I don't know if it's something that's, gonna continue on for a really long time or what's gonna happen but um, well i know there's some there's some guys out there that are still doing some pretty big stuff with it yeah uh, 
they're doing like the blood bowls and actually putting morphs into them and everything. Uh, like I said, it, it just, it depends on the people that are doing it. You know, I mean, we all have people that do the right thing and we all have people that just do, you know, whatever they feel like. So, you know, but to me, if like, if we actually, you know, if people do the hybrids, as long as they, are putting it out there that it is a hybrid and you know, so what you're buying, you know, you know, that not to just put it in with one of your, you know, regular pure snakes or whatnot, then I don't see a problem with it. But now does that always happen? No. Right. Um, hybrids. I don't know if they're sterile. I haven't gone into research that much because I've never actually looked into having hybrids, but um, I think with my, my thought process on all of it is really just, if you, if you want to jump into a hybrid project, or if you want to jump into hybrids, just do it like you're purchasing any other animal, make sure you trust who you're buying it from, make sure they can tell you the information that you really need to know before you do it. Because that's, I mean, you gotta think all of almost every snake breed will go 20 plus years. So that's something you're going to have 20 years, if not more. So it's a, almost a lifelong commitment that you're making. Like, well, I think what you guys are saying makes a lot of sense. If you're going to go for an animal, whatever it is, whether it's a pure blood or pure bread, or even, you know, like we're saying the hybrid, if you know what you're getting, that's kind of what all that matters. The unfortunate thing is, is that there's people out there that are fraudulent or just don't care about being righteous. And uh, you know what? I mean, there's this lack of honor out there nowadays. And I think that that's something that plays a huge part in doing business in this lifestyle because people aren't getting animals that are going to last a couple of months. These are like lifelong friends that you're basically purchasing when you take an animal like that on. So it's important to take that into consideration. Yeah. And everybody, I mean, everybody has, you know, their opinion and what they, and what they, uh, you know, feel. And that's, and that's totally fine. Cause that's what, what we're all here for. And yeah. it, I mean, would I ever get a hybrid? No. And yeah. I going to make hybrids? No. But do I feel if somebody wants to do it, I'm not going to stop you from doing it. Just be, yeah. just be, you know, the right person when doing it. You guys see Chucky's messages right now? I'm not. I'm not trying to call him out, but he. You see, he's doing his job on the thread right now. He's just got that conservation job, and I'm proud of him. Like my boy Chucky, doing a lot of hard work lately. He's been looking for a job for a long time and got it. But I, I absolutely agree with the Everglades situation. Like that's that's been an issue for years, and unfortunately. Um, because they're trying to protect the Everglades, they've kind of demonized the snakes that live there. Like, I'm, I'm not saying that they're not an issue there, but I think they, they created the snakes kind of as a, kind of like a poster child to bring funding. It's like anything else you'll do. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna bring funding by placing what's most popular to go against in that area. Yeah, actually, Chucky's out there doing a job that I want to. Nice. That's very cool. Uh, conservation. That's so I'm going to be watching you, Chucky. All right. I want to see some cool videos and learn, you know, what it's about because I'm going to school for stuff. So I want to put in that, that hard work action. for the community, you know? Let us all learn a little bit. Yeah. Redstrom's talking about it too. He's talking about hybrids. I guess they're talking about retics to ball pythons. I mean, like a super dwarf, it might work, but I don't see a ball python and a mainland or even a dwarf retic really being able to work. I think the size comparison is just going to be too great. All right. Well, later, Sergio. Yep. 
All right, Serge. We'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Much love, brother. Can't wait to see what comes out of those eggs, man. I'm so sorry about this, guys. Like, it's it's hard for me to keep up with everything. Yeah, no, I have such a weird bad. lag going right now. I've never had this issue. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Sergio, always watching now. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a very, very smart man. Oh, yeah. But uh, we've been on here for about 45 minutes. Dang, really? So, yeah. It's Time just a hangout, right? fun. I told you, Sunday night hangouts go quick. Wow. You don't feel it. Like, me, me and Ed will talk, and it'll be, like, 30, 40, an hour. I'll see it coming to that last little bit where we're encroaching on an hour, and I'm like, uh, it's we about that go. time. Yeah. <laughs> well, much love to everybody on this end. I'm going to tag out over here. You guys are amazing. Keep doing that good work. Goodness gracious. Mr. Feely, thanks for having us as guests today. G-rated, you're amazing, bro. That no, you're amazing. amazing thing you're going to be doing, the news, oh, my goodness, coming in the next 30 days, it seems. Yep. It's Rock on. going to be starting, so look out for it. For I can't subscribe. wait. I can't wait. Can't wait to subscribe. see the spin you put on that. Oh, Are you going to be like the O'Reilly factor and be like, this is a no spin zone? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to do a couple of different uh, ways in the mirror and see which one I like. Yeah. Play with it. Have fun. That's what it's all about, brother. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys. Well, Eddie, have a good night, brother. Later. Greg, man, I appreciate you for stopping in. Oh, thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. Yeah. This is awesome. I love doing this type of stuff. <laughs> oh, next time I'm going to have something that's going to just sit with me. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, they're they're more active in cooler weather too, aren't they? Um, yeah, they, like they're, they prefer they're a lower temperature gradient than ball pythons, yeah. aren't they? And then I'm really warm right now and the room's kind of warm, so she feels warm to me, so she's like, "Hey man, you know, where's my water bowl? I need to go cool off, bro. Yeah. That's actually a lot why why a lot of them will be feistier. All right. My little boy just had an accident. It looks like we're all getting off right oh, now. Oh, nice. Uh, all right, Greg. I appreciate you being on. I appreciate you taking your time. So. Uh, we'll definitely be in touch, me. brother. We'll be uh, we'll be doing a lot more of these. Awesome, awesome. Much love to everybody. All right, guys. If you want to be a part of the Sunday night hangout next week, make sure you just go to feeliesclutch at gmail dot com. Send me an email. Let me know who you are. A little bit about you. I'll check you out. We'll talk and we'll set up a schedule for those that want to be on. Austin, if you're still on here, get ready. Chucky, if I know you're still on here. Get ready. Um, you guys are coming on soon. And we're going to go ahead and get off of here because I got to help the wife out. You guys have a great night. You stay blessed. And we're going to see you soon. <laughs>